my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Today's video is a like chit chat, get ready with me, and I want to call it like Christmas style. I basically just want to sit here, do my makeup, and tell you guys, you know, past Christmas stories from when I was a kid all the way up until my adulthood right now. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make this intro super, super duper long, so let's just get right into it. Yes. I don't know why there is a transition there because nothing has changed. I'm st I'm still looking like this. I am going to try my hardest to, you know, keep up with the product names and whatnot. Um, but if I miss something or, you know, forget to mention something, I'll have everything linked down in the description bar like I always do. I really want to use the Jaclyn Hill palette today, so I'm going to dig into her. I'm going to use ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in the shade Cornelius, and I'm just going to place this all over my lid. It's a really nice base. So I'm gonna keep this eye look very, very simple just so that I can, you know, speak. The day I'm filming this is Thursday, December 21st, and I still haven't done my Christmas shopping. My family, for as long as I could remember, has been like the family of procrastination, especially when it comes to like Christmas. Like we would always just wait till the very last minute. My parents would literally Christmas shop like the 23rd or something crazy like that. I think even one year, if I am not mistaken, I think they went out on the 24th to look for more Christmas presents. So we've always been like that. It's just something that, you know, we're used to or that we do. Um, I feel like I have adopted that sort of mentality or procrastination because like I said, it is the 21st and I still haven't bought any Christmas presents. I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and the first shade I'm gonna go into is, uh, is this silk cream? Yeah, I'm gonna go into silk cream right here and just on a fluffy brush, put this into my crease. And I remember one year, I think this was the year before my little sister was born. So I must have been like uh, 19, 19. Yeah, I was 19. I have a really little sister. She's like 10 years old and I'm 29. Yeah, we were all older and we just didn't really mind that, you know, we didn't have a Christmas tree yet. And so my stepdad went out and got a Christmas tree on the 24th. Like we got a Christmas tree on the 24th, Christmas Eve, and he left the house with like a giant Ziploc bag filled with quarters that he used to just collect periodically. And when he went to Ralph's, I think it was Ralph's, it's a grocery store chain in California, because that's where I'm from. He like went to go pay for it and they were like, oh, that'll be like $5, please. <laughs> and you know, it was just like, it was like one of those things where we got it so late and we thought we were gonna get like that Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but Honestly, I feel like that tree, the tree that we got for like $6 on Christmas Eve was probably the prettiest tree I've ever seen. <laughs> and then we decorated it on the 24th and then the next day we woke up and opened Santa presents and you know, it was just, it was fun. It was one of like, I feel like one of my most cherished Christmas like so far. It's like one that I really remember just because of the fact that yeah, we got the tree so late that year. Speaking of Christmas trees, again, I have another Christmas tree story. Um, the first Christmas my husband and I spent together, we literally waited a couple of days before to get our Christmas tree. And when we finally decided to do it, we went to the Home Depot and we, you know, were looking around for Christmas trees. And my husband didn't want to spend like $30, $40 on a Christmas tree because that's it. Uh, Christmas trees are so expensive. But we always like to get real ones and so we went out looking for a Christmas tree like a couple of days before Christmas and when we were there they had like this pile of like I want to say crappy trees. They were like the crappy trees that they just had left over that were broken or half dead or whatever. And the guy was like, oh, I'll just give them to you for free. And so of course my husband and I like looked through those trees and you know, found like the prettiest tree that we could. And if I have a picture, I'll insert a picture of what our free Christmas tree looked like. But uh, it was just so like funny that, you know, we waited so long that our tree was free. Pretty sweet, right? I haven't even told you what I'm putting on my eyes yet or what I've done to my eyes at all. 
but I am using the Jaclyn Hill palette, so just know that. One year for Christmas, my sister and I did that total cliche thing where we slept on the couch, you know, waiting for Santa to come and stuff like that. And this is when we were really, really little, like super duper little. And um, we fell asleep on the couch, like I said, waiting for Santa. We woke up, there were literally no presents next to the tree. Like all the Christmas presents were like non-existent. We even called my cousins, asking my cousins if they had our Christmas presents and they were like, what? No, we don't have your Christmas presents. And then we just like, I don't know what happened, but we went into the garage again and then we looked behind or on the other side of the car and we noticed that all of our Christmas presents were sitting right there and so we got super excited but super like weirded out as to why Santa had left all of the presents you know uh, in the garage next to the car okay now I'm gonna do some wing liner so for that I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet go in with the uh, Magic Lumi primer. I really, really, really like this stuff so much. So I wanted to tell you guys about when I worked for Starbucks and I don't know if you know this, but Starbucks for the most part where I lived anyway, which was in Orlando, was always opened on Christmas. There wasn't a day that Starbucks was ever closed. At the time I was single and I didn't have my like or most of my immediate family around. So I always just worked Christmas because I wanted that time and a half. I don't know if it was because we were understaffed or because it was Christmas day, but it was always the busiest day of the year. Everybody, their mother, their grandmother, like their cousins, like all the people in the area and from far, far away just had to come to Starbucks that day. On top of that, I feel like people weren't any nicer. Like it's Christmas day and we're here, you know, serving you hot coffee. First year that I worked for Starbucks on a Christmas was quite funny. Like it was, again, like I said, overwhelming, so stressed. Last thing I would want is to go out to Starbucks and get you know my fix or whatever so I always thought it was strange that so many people would come and that the place would be so crowded but the one story that I have that I'll never ever ever forget literally like five five minutes from closing this particular year I was super sick like I had a hard time hearing people because I was all congested and um, I remember like going into the cafe and cleaning it because it was such a mess and usually at Starbucks you start your cleaning tasks about like five hours before you close and of course on Christmas Day that's not non-existent. So we're slammed. People are coming in like five, ten minutes before we're supposed to close these doors and I haven't done any of my supervising tasks. And a partner or coworker of mine walks in and says, I'm here to get some coffee for my whole family. And I thought, how? How could you do this to a fellow like partner? If you're unfamiliar, uh, Starbucks baristas or coworkers call each other partners, but I couldn't believe that she walked in five minutes before we were going to close to order a ton of coffee for her entire family. And she had a, she has a pretty big family, so I was very, very upset. You're one of us. Like, why would you want to watch us struggle, like, making you coffee? Like, we're trying to get out of here to go spend time with our families, and you're just coming in to get some coffee. Like, it was so busy, we couldn't even close on time. Like, we never did. The two years that I worked there uh, during Christmas, we were never able to close when we were supposed to close. There were still people eating in the cafe. At one point, I had another supervisor working with me that day, and he went and told people, like, we're closed. It's time for you to, you know, go sit outside. There was a year where we had to, like, literally block block the drive through because people just kept coming like they saw that we were closed we would say we were closed they would just keep coming in through the drive through and you know it was horrible we would, we would finally close and um you know there wouldn't be anybody and we would do we would be doing all of our cleaning and all of our um 
tasks and whatever and people would still be circling the store. I used to call them zombies because they would just like park their cars and come up to the window and like uh, they just couldn't couldn't live without it. I get it. But you know what? Make yourself coffee at home. That's what I would do. I'm not even talking about what I'm doing. I'm just going to powder my face with the Milani um, illuminating face powder now. See, I told you guys, I'm really bad at this like check it ready with me stuff. I just Okay, since I'm about halfway done with my face, I figured um, I saw Kayla from Kayla's Way do this tag the other day. It was like the Holly Jolly tag or something. What is your favorite Christmas movie? And this is good because I've been seeing a couple of these float around and not very many people have the same answer I do. And my favorite Christmas movie, hands down, has to be A Wonderful Life. Life is like, it's like the best Christmas movie. I I remember when my stepdad like brought that movie home or whatever, we were like, oh God, black and white movie, like great. Going in with the uh, Lisa Frank bronzer that I love so much. Ended up being like one of the greatest Christmas movies I think we've ever seen. I personally think I like It's a Wonderful Life more than the good old Christmas story, to be honest. George Bailey, I will love you till the day I die. Oh, so good. Okay, next question. Show us an embarrassing Christmas card photo. I've got a couple. I've got a couple. And I'm gonna see if I'm gonna if I can find them, and if I do, I will leave them on the screen for you because they're good. They're really good. For blush, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Tarte Amazonian clay blush. Clay blush. Yeah, Amazonian clay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes. Last year was officially my first like winter ever. I've always lived in Southern California, and then I lived in Orlando, Florida, and now I live in upstate New York, really close to Canada. So, yeah, last year was my first like, like white Christmas or whatever. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am using the um, Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. Where do you usually spend your holiday? I mentioned I always spend it at home. One of the greatest things about my Christmases when I was a child was that I always like. Uh, we would always get together on the 24th and you know do like the family parties or whatever to open up like Family presents and stuff like that and then Christmas morning We would wake up and open up all of our Santa presents hands down. What? What's your all-time favorite holiday food and holiday treat? Ooh, cookies guys every year for Christmas since I could remember I had always just baked for my family like I would always just go on a baking spree and bake each individual one of my family members like a box of cookies and brownies and whatnot but last year I legit baked like four different cookies in one day and we pretty much ate cookies all day long but I love cookies like baking cookies around this time and I think my favorite favorite one has to be a white chocolate cranberry. Like I love making that cookie. It is so, so good. What holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Honestly, um, watching Cece open up presents for the first time because she's almost two. So she'll definitely understand the concept a little bit more this year. And I'm excited to watch that kid rip into like, you know, wrapping paper. Sorry, I can't talk when I'm doing this or else I'll stab my eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. I hope this is entertaining for you guys because I'm starting to like feel like I don't know what else to say. Mascara, what am I gonna use? What am I gonna use? I'm gonna use um this. I wanna say something about Christmas and you know, I kinda like how I feel about it now as an adult. When I was younger, I, I think that Christmas was so much more fun than it is like as you're an adult. I feel like adults now like stress out so much over what, buying people stuff? Like it's just gotten so like crazy to me that, or maybe it's always just been like that. It's just now that I'm grown up and I have children, like it just feels like it's all about just buy, 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 buy. And I wish it wasn't like that. Like I honestly, like if it wasn't for, you know, the kids like knowing about all this like Christmas presents and stuff, I would probably just like sit around um, all day eat cookies, eat all kinds of like delicious food, hang out, watch movies, and just enjoy each other's company. Like I would much rather have that than to have a tree like full of presents, to be honest. And I'm, I guess maybe I'm sad about it. I don't know, it's just not as magical as like when I was a kid. Maybe if I lived closer to my parents, it would be magical again, but for now it just has lost its 
spirit or whatever. And there you have it, folks. My first chit chat, get ready with me. Um, hopefully I didn't bore you too much or it didn't drag on forever. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup. And I hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas or wonderful holiday or wonderful whatever it is that you celebrate. And I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.